Hey my Jelly Beans, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to sit down with you guys and answer some of Google's most searched gay questions. But I thought it would be fun just to sit down and answer some more questions because I feel like the world doesn't have enough answers. We're always asking the same questions and why don't we just get it all out at once and just answer them all. So stick around for this video. <laughs> So I've seen other YouTubers make videos similar to this, but I really wanted to put my own spin on it and answer all the gay questions that are all over Google. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the Jelly Bean Squad. I do make a lot of videos about sexuality and just my life in general, so if that's what you're into, be sure to subscribe. But we're just gonna hop into this video and answer some of Google's most gay questions. I guess that could be like a title of the video, I don't know. So the first question is, what do gay people listen to? So I'm assuming like music-wise, and I'm just gonna say for me, I like a mix of pop and country. There is no one genre for gay people, but I will say that pop is what they play in gay bars. A lot of that is at Pride. So I will say pop is more of what you would think of with gay people. I guess that's an answer. What do gay guys drive? So... The simple answer, they ride anything and everything, pun intended, just kidding. I will say there is no specific car or type of car that gay people drive. It's just like any straight person, we drive whatever we like. I feel like some of these questions just are more directed towards wanting to know our personal favorite things and everyone's different. So I don't know how that really relates to gay people wanting to know what they listen to or drive. I guess that's what the world wants to know. Where do gay guys meet? And I will say definitely more online. Why would you say that? Sadly, I will say Grinder and Tinder. Grinder's more hookup, Tinder's more dating. I don't know much about that. I don't really like using apps personally, and I really don't know that many gay people. So it's really hard, but I will say the internet is a place where a lot of people meet. Why is Pride important? So I will say Pride is really important to the gay community because it is our safety. It's our place where we can go and we can be ourselves. And it's part of our history, and it really shows people that we are accepted and that we are important to the world. We're being ourselves and it's our one place where we can actually be ourselves and not be ashamed of who we like, who we are, what we look like. It's a place where love is the most important thing. So I think that's the biggest reason why pride is still important. How do gay guys date? So I'm gonna say it's like any other normal person. You ask them on a date, you think you like them, you see how it works out. You're in a relationship. Dating is not any different for gay people as it is for straight people. I don't know why people think that it is. It's literally just you like someone and you date them. What does gay mean? Gay means if you're a guy, you like other guys. If you're a girl, you like other girls. Just means that you get a little frisky with the Dixie if you're a guy. I don't know what that was, but it honestly worked. What does it mean if you have gay dreams? So if you think that you're straight and you're having a gay dream, whatever that means to you, whatever it is, it might mean that you're questioning yourself and you're trying to figure out who you are. And if you're a gay person that's having a gay dream, it's just reinforcing the idea that you already know. But it could mean that you're actually gay if you're questioning yourself and you're having gay dreams, you might want to get that checked out. What does gay pride even mean? So gay pride is all about being proud of who you are and being proud of yourself. If you're going to gay pride or if you're just showing gay pride, it just means you're proud of who you are and you're not going to let anyone else tell you you shouldn't be. So keep being proud. Why do gay people use the rainbow as a symbol? So the rainbow is a sign of brightness. It's a sign of happiness and it's a sign of togetherness. And the reason that the LGBT community uses it is because we're a place of so many different backgrounds backgrounds, ethnicities, races, genders, and we're all coming together to show that we are one. But those were all the questions that I really looked up for this video. I just wanted to sit down and answer a few little things. I've been really bad at filming. I'm looking for my own apartment where I can live by myself and hopefully make a YouTube room, make an office. I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying to get better. I don't know. I've just been really lost lately and really falling behind in almost every aspect of my life. So I really need to get back on track because it's been rough. It's been real rough and y'all, I just need some support. I need to reach 10,000 subscribers. I need something to like get that little spark back under me because it's kind of fading a little bit and it was doing really good for the past couple months and then lately I'm just like, I don't know if I can do this at the moment because I'm just feeling really, 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 really down. I just need to like get back into it. But I want to thank you guys again for watching this video and come back every single week. If you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the Jelly Bean Squad. I do make videos every single week and I want you to join the fam. So hit that subscribe button and leave a like too. I love you guys. And as always, stay fruity my jelly beans.